Hello, Andrea here, and welcome to a part number four of this series on Airtable for social media managers. Now, in this video, I'm going to share my screen and show you how to use Airtable as a tool and as a resource for organizing your internal hashtag database. So all of those hashtags that you collect for your clients, let's put them all in one place using Airtable. Now, for those of you who are new, hello, my name is Andrea Jones. I'm a social media strategist and I am dedicated to helping you keep things simple and easy and fun and specifically helping you streamline your business. Now, if you're looking for more tips and tricks on building your social media business, check out the Business Building Blueprint for Social Media Managers. You can find it by going to onlinedrea.com slash blueprint. All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are in our Airtable base looking at the tab about hashtags. So for this one, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. And you can see that for each um, different section, I'm going to name that section with a theme, and then I'm going to add in the hashtags here. So if I expand this record, you can see that we've got theme and we have hashtags. Okay, very simple. And you can add in as many as you'd like if you click the plus sign that adds more. And this one is kind of like your traditional spreadsheet. Um, so it's really easy to copy and paste these into the posts that you're using for your clients. So let's see an example of this in the wild. And this is for one of our clients in the real estate space. So you can see here that we've got our branded hashtags here. So those are added in, but also we have various categories, podcasts, real estate, real estate investors, real estate brokers. And you can see how we have quite a lot of hashtags within each of these categories that we can easily copy and paste depending on our uh, topic. So let's say, for instance, we're doing a, a topic on uh, social media about healthcare and healthcare workers. Then we have all of these hashtags here to support those topics. Um, let's say we're going to use tips of the day or use some local news as well. They're based in Phoenix, Arizona. So we've got those hashtags there as well. This sort of organization allows us not only to be creative with our posts, but also to add variety to the work that we're doing. And there you have it. Make sure you subscribe for part five of this series, where I'm going to show you how to use Airtable to organize your FAQs. So all of those responses that you're going to use on social media. And go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified when our next video comes out. I'll see you then. Bye for now.